Hello everyone, I'm going to make a video on the introduction to the course. This is what I would have done in lecture, but this course being accelerated, don't really have time in class, so I'm going to go ahead and click on our, our course shell. And I can start with the syllabus first, but I'm going to go down here to the instructor office first. Now, <clears throat> there's my name. Yes, I'm, this is your humble instructor. My office is in the academic building, number 125. There's the phone number, the extension. Um, I, you know, obviously I can't check that unless I'm in my office. Here are my office hours. Of course, I'm up here other times beside these hours. So if you need to meet with me at another time, just please make an appointment or schedule with me. Uh, this is the best way to get a hold of me. Here's the email address. That goes right to my phone. You can message me on the left over here in the course messages in Blackboard. There's also, and, and right now, I'll go ahead and go to your link, your view, excuse me. So the first two weeks are open. There's the email. There's the course messages. And so you can get a hold of me that way as well. But that other way, um, this is probably the best way is with this email. So the breakdown for this particular class. Now, the lecture and lab are combined. The uh, Here is the lecture schedule. Now, there is a midterm exam and a final exam. And each week, you will have a quiz. Now, our semester is actually going to be seven weeks, so I will open these up early for you, uh, the last week of uh, the semester. But for each uh, particular subject, each week, you're going to have a quiz. You're going to take those online. They will open up on Thursdays. This is the uh, lessons part that you're going to be doing, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So that's the lecture portion. Here's where all the locations are for all of the assignments you're going to be doing. As far as the lab section goes, and we're going to have to be doing something different this semester because of the pandemic, but your labs are scheduled. Your lab exams will be in class, and they are scheduled for every other week, basically. Week one is going to, this is what we're doing this week. Um, <clears throat> now, um, Next week would be, you see week two would be the actual lab exam, and I'll go through that in lab tonight. But um, here are all the subjects you're covering. It's going to be histology, skeletal, muscle, and nervous. Now, um, and there's the lab schedule if you want to print it. So if you're asking, and I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this, if you're wondering, okay, what are these lessons he's talking about? So I'm going to go into lecture first. So if you scroll down the bottom, here are learning outcomes. Here's what you're doing this week. Here are the outlines that you want to bring to class with you. Okay, we're going to be using these. There is a review for quiz one. Now, the introductory part of this course, you need to watch this video. I'm not going to have time in lecture to go through it. We're going to start immediately with chemistry. If you'll watch that video, it'll go through all the parts of the introduction to anatomy PowerPoint and the outline. Here's the latest assignment policy. Basically, four days after the due date, nothing will be accepted. So I'm going to click on this. Now, these are interactive lessons. This is actually for grade, a percentage of the grade in this course. This one's kind of a long one. It's got about 18 pages. And so, and they start page three. So I'm gonna click on this. But here's the introduction to anatomy and physiology. And then down here's a little motivational video. And then it says right here, the assignment starts here, 75 questions. So what you're gonna do is go through, I'm just gonna pick some of these random here. There we go, there we go. There we go. I didn't read the questions. Let's see. Holy, <laughs> I got two right. You can see I missed three. Uh, almost all these questions you can retry. You can do these as many times as you want to get 100, and you'll have to complete it all. So uh, these lessons, there's no time limit. You can come and go as you please. It may not always keep your answers. You might have to, if you stop at some point and not finish, you may have to come back and start over again. But basically, you'll go through all of these pages, and then on the last page, you must click the Finish button. 
and I'm going to go ahead and go into your what you guys are seeing so I'll call it the student view here all right I'm going to go to lesson one here we go and it may actually say hey you've already came inside this thing so let's um, let me see what it says here when I click on it okay good it didn't now you see that it says click the finish button on the last page when you were done okay so what that means like I said they the questions start page three there's some introductory material you want to read through on page one and two I'm gonna go all the way to the end so I've answered all 75 questions there's the finish button you have to click that to submit your uh, lesson if you don't click that it's not gonna count so it'll show up blank it won't show up in your my grades tab at all and always check the my grades tab for due dates and the my grades tab have the due dates for all these assignments so you're gonna be doing this here's the one for chemistry same thing uh, to submit your score click finish button at the end I'm gonna go down here there don't worry about the survey okay um, I'm sorry about that too but there's the finish button I need to take some of this stuff out but there's the finish button so when you go through and answer all these questions so here's the um, like I said they start on page three usually uh, let me go one more here we go assignment starts here 40 questions same thing you're gonna um, I'm just gonna just pick a random answer yeah it didn't work so I can actually do that one again as well and then see these down here same thing uh, check your answers retry go back through so that's actually for a percentage of your grade in fact if you're wondering what percent um, under the syllabus under the syllabus tab is where you're gonna find the uh, the grade breakdown so here's the textbook now the textbook is considered optional you do not have to use it um, there is actually a link when you click on this hopefully it'll still take us there there it goes okay I went right to this is actually the free part of um, OpenStax you don't have to pay for that if you want a textbook they're about 30 to 40 dollars in the bookstore but it's considered to be optional I give you lots of information but here's the grade breakdown the exams which is the midterm and the final are 30 percent the quizzes are 60 percent and these lessons are 10 percent same thing in lab the lab exams which are taken in class are 80 percent and the lessons that you do in lab are actually considered to be 20 percent your lecture average counts 55 the lab is 45 to equal 100 for the total in the entire class okay so like I said and here's the uh, to go back to the textbook hmm. um, there it is it is considered optional and like I said there's a link underneath if you want to go to open stacks but uh, they're they're cheap I like to try to save money where I can uh, under the schedule like and I've showed you this already but you can print out the lecture schedule if you want you can print out the lab schedule and then um, I'll have to take that out but um, anyway so that's that's really about everything the course overview there is one thing if you're going to use uh, the the browsers you need to use either use Google Chrome or uh, Mozilla Firefox other browsers will not work these are the two best ones I actually use Firefox more than Google Chrome but Google Chrome seems to be the one that works the best with Blackboard um, and that's about it that is everything so I will see you guys in class